Okay. Uh, cell tower machinery catches on fire, emits radiation, and has one of the highest worker accident rates. This commercial industry has no business on our school grounds. But how did one Virginia company, Milestone, get sole access to 73 of our schools with no public discussion or comment and why no bids? The county is in violation of its own residential zoning code, section 27445, which states, the tower can be built without a special exception only if there are four or fewer visits by maintenance a year. And it's common knowledge that diesel generators need regular maintenance about once a month or more. Now, I've had back and forth emails with Milestone on going on two months asking for maintenance schedules, and they've declined from sending me the information. But in a Fairfax County application, Milestone states that the cell tower will not generate traffic other than once or twice a month for a technician to visit to ensure everything's in proper working order. Simple math. Once a month is 12 visits. 12 is not four. Now, the planning director told me it's an enforcement issue which will be handled after the facilities are installed. That's unacceptable. It's like selling me a sports car when I'm pregnant with two sets of triplets. And it defies logic because 12 is not four, and with four vendors per tower, it's 48 visits. And 48 is not four. This is illegal. This circumvents the special exception process by which people have a voice in the decision-making process. How come in Montgomery County, the majority of cell towers are located on schools with the highest free lunch and minority populations? And when a tower is proposed in mostly white and affluent neighborhoods, the parents shoot it down in 24 hours. But here, the PTAs are not even told when leases have been signed. Why did we have to put in a public information request to get the leases? And how come I was told that it, cost, it would cost over $4,000 to get my public information request of asking for communications between Milestone and the board. This backroom deal seems to be hatched and developed outside of public view. Where is the transparency? Such towers will literally change the landscape of neighborhoods, further depreciating home values. And the highest levels of radiation will be reserved for school children. Our children's safety is not for sale. The community should have a voice. I'm asking you to stop the cell tower construction on school grounds, which is in clear violation of Prince George's County Code, and allow citizens to have their legal right to the special exception process. Please go to safeschoolspg.org for more information. I also want to add, because I know a lot about artificial turf, that it contains known carcinogens, and it off-gasses carcinogenic gases, and I, I hope that you will look at instead funding proper maintenance for grass fields um, because they need to be fully funded. I think that's the issue. We can all agree that the, the fields have an issue. It's the environmentally green choice. Thank you very much. Thank you.